Hey y'all, it's your girl here, it's Janae. I am back with another video. So before I get this video started, I had to go ahead and pray, you know, because uh, I already knew this was gonna take some time. It really didn't take too long. It was just a process of like partying and you know, whatever. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that I am partying right now, so I am splitting it in half. It is recommended to go ahead and get a mirror or look in the mirror and to look at your parts because this was a little bit crooked so I did do some readjustment off camera but anyways I just like to make sure that my parts are straight because if they're not straight it's not going to look neat. This is just an extra step so I am applying some oil on my rubber bands. I've seen some other girls do it so I like let me go ahead and try to so you know I wanted to do that part. And anyway, so I'm just using the Isha or Esha's uh, braiding gel that I did receive. And I'm just using that to also help me make my parts more cleaner. So this is really my first time actually installing some box braids in my hair and I'm gonna have to say I am actually proud of myself. I gave myself a pat on the back because I was like, come on now. I did not know that it was gonna actually turn out this good. I'm, you know, because I like, this is my first time. So like I said, like I really was kind of like a little bit scared to, you know, do this, but it came out good and I'm happy that I did it. And yeah, so here we are. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the hair that I'm using. So this is the De Janet Collection Nala Tress 6X Pre-Stretched Hair. So this is me just measuring to see how much hair I use. But I'm just applying the gel on my uh, hair and then I split that in half. And so this is what I do. So I, I split this one section that I split in half, if this makes sense. I know it's a lot of information. But as you see, I'm splitting that. And then I just cross that over just like that, as you see here. If you're a visual learner, you know what I mean. I It's really hard for me to explain this, but this is how it should look. And then I just kind of like curved my hand over like that and did that. <laughs> so I went ahead and I, um, you know, started braiding. Ain't really much to it. Braiding it this way with my right arm crossed all the way over, it actually helps me grab the braid and kind of like grip it more better. My arms got so, so tired, y'all. Like, I, I am surprised they ain't gained no muscles at the end of this, but it got real tight, but it got the job done. So this is really how I like to braid my hair. Like I said, I have not done this before, but this method definitely has worked for me. So I'm pretty sure it can work for you too. A little bit of practice because there were some times I did kind of mess up and I had to take the braid back down and restart it again. But overall, you know, it got the job done. Also, I do want to add in to make my hair not show like my real hair. I did kind of like tuck it in. So as you see here, I am braiding, but I am flipping the actual weave hair over my actual hair so that way it's not seen. So that actually helps hide my hair and make it more seamless and also neat. And then it won't cause a lot of frizz, you know, because my hair is hidden. Okay, now I told y'all this is my first time. Now look at this. Y'all, this hot boiling water. When I tell y'all it was burning me, it was burning me, y'all. <laughs> I had that towel and then as the towel was going down, my hair was actually hot. So as I was touching, I was actually burning myself. I was like, how do these girls be doing this? But anyways, as you see, I'm struggling, but I was doing it, y'all. But that, I got the Kool-Aid, uh, I got the Kool-Aid uh, pitcher. Yeah, I didn't know what else to use. I didn't really want to use my pot, so I just poured it in there. But anyways, as you see, I am rubbing my hair down and this just gets rid of all the stiffness that you do have from the braiding gel. And it really just like kind of loosen it up and make it shake and everything. But this is really the ending of the video, y'all. Like I am struggling, but I got it done. But overall, I am in love with the look. I would definitely do this again because this is definitely a look. I added a little gold jewelry in there and y'all, I am in love. I did not keep it in long because I did have other videos to do, but I will make sure when I do this again, I am taking pictures in it. I'm just like going all out. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up and love y'all. Bye.